Hey, I'm Adam Dusko from ProbMoney.com. In this video, we are going to look at the best credit card bonuses on no annual fee credit cards here in early 2020. But before we do that, I'm going to ask you to please subscribe to this YouTube channel right here if you've not already. And if you have already, I thank you for doing so. So it is early 2020, and this is the time of year that many people sign up for new credit cards. They're looking over their finances, looking over their life in general, and this is the time when people decide to do a little investigation and you know uh, pick new credit cards. So in this particular video, we are going to look at the sign-up bonuses that are available only on no annual fee cards. Now, obviously, there are some very good sign-up bonuses on cards that have annual fees as well, but for here, we are going to zero in on the no annual fee cards for people that maybe want a new card, like the idea of getting a bonus, but don't want to make that commitment of an annual fee card. All the info in this video is coming from the credit card websites as of the time I'm making this video in early January of 2020. Info on the credit card websites can change. There can be bonus offers that come in your mailbox that are different from what I am saying here. You might find offers on other websites where the card companies market different offers just to see what people will bite on. So I'm going from the websites of the individual credit card companies. We are going to look at about 20 credit cards on both the consumer side and the business side. I'm going to go quick so don't get bogged down in that number 20 there. Each one of these is going to offer a sign-up bonus, welcome bonus, new card holder bonus, whatever you want to call it, of at least $200 in value. So some of those are going to be cash, some of those are going to be points or miles. Now to start on the consumer side, and we are going to start with the cards that offer a cash bonus based on the amount of spending you do. All of these cards are going to offer a $200 cash bonus, whether you can actually get that bonus in your hands or whether it is a statement credit. I'm not going to go into that part of it, but all of these are going to give you $200 as a bonus. We are going to start with the two Chase Freedom cards, the Chase Freedom and the Chase Freedom Unlimited. These two go first because of the fact that they have the the least uh, number of spend or least amount of spend necessary to get that $200 bonus. You'll get $200 on the Chase Freedom card or the Chase Freedom Unlimited when you have spent at least $500 with either of those cards in the first 90 days of having them. The Chase Freedom card, a cashback card that is giving you 5% cashback on certain purchase categories in rotating categories each calendar quarter. And then there is the Chase Freedom Unlimited that is a flat cashback card giving you 1.5% cashback on all your purchases regardless of what category they're in. And we've got four other consumer cards offering that same $200 cash bonus for new card holders, but these ones are all going to require you to spend at least $1,000 in the first 90 days of having the card. The first card we'll talk about is the Wells Fargo Propel American Express card, 20,000 points, which is equal to $200 if you spend a thousand bucks in the first 90 days. We like this card overall as a cashback card. It gives you three points per dollar or 3% cashback on a multitude of different categories, gas, restaurants, all kinds of other stuff as well. This is a car that we talk about a lot in other videos. So still, the bonus has kind of been coming down on this card over time, but you're still looking at a $200 bonus if you spend a thousand bucks in the first 90 days. The Bank of America Cash Rewards card, again, $200 bonus if you spend a thousand bucks in the first 90 days. This is a cash back card on an everyday basis that gives you 3% cash back in a category of your choice, 2% back on uh, grocery or wholesale club purchases, 1% back everywhere else. That's pretty much it. And then two American Express cards to look at here, the Blue Cash Everyday card, the no annual fee Blue Cash card gives you $200 as a bonus if you spend $1,000 in the first 90 days of having the card. This is a pretty decent everyday cashback card as well, in particular with the 3% cashback on US supermarket purchases. Now we're gonna look at seven more cards that offer their bonuses in either points or miles, and we're gonna rank them based on the perceived value of those points or miles. I'm gonna be using my sort of own ranking here, so you may look at these points or miles a little bit differently if you are familiar with these programs. Anyway, the first card we're gonna talk about is the Hilton Honors American Express card. This card offers a 100,000 point bonus if you spend $1,000 in the first three months of having the card. Now, 100,000 points sounds like a lot. I value Hilton 
Hilton points at around 0.4 cents per point, which means in that case, those 100,000 points would be worth about $400 toward Hilton hotel stays. Some people might, uh, you know, push that up to be worth maybe $500. Some people might say more, but I think that that is not the case for most people who would redeem these. So think of that as a $400 or $500 bonus in terms of value, which is a good value. So on a no annual fee card, if you are, you know, someone that can stash those points and use them at Hilton, if that is, uh, you know, attractive to you, that is a very nice bonus. All right, the next card is also a hotel rewards card and it is the IHG card. This is a card that is offering a 60,000 point bonus. If you spend $2,000 in the first three months of having the card, those 60,000 points we estimate to be worth around $300. Maybe you could get a little bit more for them. The IHG hotels include Kimpton, Intercontinental, Crown Plaza, Holiday Inn, and others as well. So if those hotels are attractive to you or they could be attractive, when you get a bonus of that magnitude, then this could be a good no annual fee card to jump on their bonus now. Next up, a more general travel rewards card. It's the Bank of America travel rewards card, which is offering a 25,000 point bonus. If you spend a thousand bucks in the first 90 days of having that card, you can use those 25,000 points as $250 worth of travel value. So basically you put the travel onto that card or you charge your travel onto that card, and then you can use the points that you have to offset those travel purchases. So you're not getting cash in hand here, but you're getting $250 worth of travel value. Marriott Bonvoy Bold Card, another hotel card, this one offering a 30,000 point bonus. If you spend $1,000 in the first three months of having it, we estimate those 30,000 points to be worth somewhere in the 200 to $250 range. The Capital One Venture One card offering a bonus of 20,000 miles. If you spend $1,000 with the card in the first three months of having it, those miles technically are more like points, which are gonna be worth a penny a point in most cases, meaning that that is about $200 in value that you can put toward travel. Now, Capital One does have some uh, transfer partners that you can transfer your miles into their programs and maybe you can get some more value for those. I still tend to think of Capital One miles as being worth a penny each. Maybe you can get a little bit more, but anyway, those 20,000 points, as far as I'm concerned, worth $200. And then two cruise line cards, neither one of which I really think is a great credit card on an everyday basis, but if you want a nice bonus that you might use toward your next cruise, maybe one of these is the one to choose. The Carnival World MasterCard offers a 20,000 point bonus that is worth 200 bucks when you make your first purchase with the card. So you don't even have to meet a particular minimum with that card. So that is a nice thing if you want to you know, get a very easy bonus that you could use toward your next Carnival cruise. Also, Norwegian has a 20,000 point bonus, also worth essentially $200 toward your uh, cruising if you spend $1,000 with that card in the first 90 days of having it. All right, that was 13 consumer cards. We are gonna look at seven small business cards as well. We are gonna start with the two Chase Inc. business cards that are no annual fee cards. Both of these offer a $500 cash bonus if you spend at least $3,000 with the card in the first three months of having them. There is the Chase Inc. Inc. Business Cash Card, and then there is the Chase Inc. Business Unlimited Card, both with that same bonus, the Chase Inc. Business Cash Card has a number of 5% categories where you can get 5% cash back in those particular categories. And then the Chase Inc. Business Unlimited Card is a 1.5% cash back card across the board. We like that first card a little bit better, but if you, uh, you know, are happy with just a flat cash back card, the uh, Unlimited is as good as well. The Wells Fargo Business Platinum card is not necessarily a business card that I would recommend very highly. However, you can get a $500 cash bonus with this card, but you have to spend at least $5,000 in those first three months in order to get it. Beyond that, not a whole lot going on with that card, but if you are looking for a $500 bonus and you got 5,000 bucks to spend, this is a place to do it. 
The Bank of America Business Advantage Cash Rewards Card gives you a $300 bonus if you spend $3,000 in the first 90 days of having this card. It's a cash back card that on an everyday basis is going to give you 3% cash back in a category of your choice, 2% back at restaurants, 1% back everywhere else. There's also another Bank of America card offering $300 as a potential bonus if you spend $3,000 in those first 90 days, and that is the Bank of America Business Advantage Advantage Platinum Plus MasterCard. That card is not a reward card, so there's not anything really too exciting about that card beyond the fact that you can get that $300 bonus. But if you are looking for a card maybe with a uh, little bit lower interest rate on the business side, maybe that's one to take a look at. And sticking with Bank of America for just one more minute, there is also the Bank of America Business Advantage Travel Rewards card that has a 25,000 point bonus if you spend a thousand bucks with the card in 60 days. So those 25,000 points are going to be worth $250 in travel rewards. Beyond that, on an everyday basis, that's a card that gives you 1.5 points per dollar in everything you spend, and then you can use those points against your travel purchases with the card. And then finally, there are the two Capital One No Annual Fee Spark business cards. There is the Spark Cash Select and the Spark Miles Select. Each one of those is going to give you essentially $200 in value with their bonus. You're going to get $200 cash if you have the Cash Select card, if you spend $3,000 in the first three months of having it. If you have the Miles Select card, you're going to get $20,000 miles if you spend $3,000 in the first three months of having it. But as I've said already, the those uh, Capital One miles, as far as I'm concerned, are generally worth a penny a point when you use them. So you can look at these cards as essentially being the same in terms of what they're offering with that bonus. That's it. What credit cards do you have your eyes on here in early 2020? Does that bonus make a difference to you or is it the everyday spend? I would love to hear everything about it and everything else about you that you might want to talk about too in the comments section below. Otherwise, I thank you for watching. And as always, please go to proudmoney.com where we do credit card reviews, we talk personal finance, we talk deals, and all sorts of other fun stuff too. Thanks for watching. Bye.